Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have something from the Frame Arms Girl line, the <laughs> Frame Arms Girl Harris Velger Alter. I, I, that's, <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's like German or something, uh, but that's that's what I'm looking at is, um, I think it's Hells Velger, Hells Ver Harris Verger. I'm just gonna call it uh, HA. Yeah, I'm just call it Frame Arms, Frame Arms Girl HA. Well, um, I built one. I built the Architect off white version. I still need to review that, um, which will be coming probably this weekend, to be honest. I'll, I'll probably review that this weekend. But um, I went ahead, I built that. I really, really loved it. Um, it was a very, very solid, you know, solid kit. And um, even though my wife does not really like approve of these models at all, um, I'm I'm really intrigued by them. You know, like I think I don't look at it as like oh, it's a girl first. I look at it as it's a mecha first. Um, I love the colors. I love the designs. I think it's very very intriguing. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the uh, the box. Well, I think the front cover art looks pretty phenomenal. Um, that's actually the reason I, I bought it, because I was like, whoa, I was like, this is like a really big box, and it looks pretty awesome. Um, there's a lot of like different parts on there, and I think uh, there's a couple of reviewers that I've watched that uh, they reviewed it, and I was like, oh, I was like, it has different modes, it looks pretty cool. They complained about like some of the parts are loose, or it doesn't like stick together very well. I'm fine with that. I can go ahead and I can I can make that better. Uh, but overall, the front the front cover art looks pretty awesome. And here on the sign, you see that it does have different type of faces. Um, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of that face. Uh, I'm probably gonna be this is gonna be the one I'm using because it's kind of like a very nice little smirk, um, like she. I don't know, being all sassy, uh, but you have a lot of nice decals, and I'm definitely going to assume, just due to the color of that, um, that these are going to be water slides, and if that's the case, then that's pretty awesome. I just need to get some um, decal softener, because I don't actually have any on me at the moment. And here on this side, you just see like the front and back of the like, full form. Um, I don't know if that has like a different name for it or not. Uh, maybe it's somewhere in the Japanese uh, symbols right below here, uh, they probably tell me, but uh, you see it just in this like bare form, I guess. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, and I know what this suit is based off of. Like, I've seen the original frame arms for it. Um, I've seen it like a long, long time ago. Like, it, it definitely was like somewhere in the uh, early 2010s. Um, but I was like, I really wanted this when I first seen it, like the original frame arms. But I was like, you know what? Like, I still love Gunpla a lot, and I really don't want to like branch off into uh, Kotobukiya. And right here you see the little gimmicks. So it has the air bike mode, which I, I guess it looks okay. Uh, but the sidewinder, I like that. That looks pretty dope. So, um, you know, you get two different forms and then you're gonna see it kind of just bare, like, you know, exactly what it'll look like uh, unpainted and without like the decals and everything else on it. And lastly, it looks like it retails for 6,800 yen. Uh, I think I paid about like 5,500 yen for mine. So. It was definitely up there in price, but I was like, you know what? They only had one of these, and I just didn't—I didn't want to see it go, and then me kind of regret not picking it up. Okay, so in total, you can get five different colors. Uh, one's gonna be like more of a uh, like prisma effect. It's gonna have like a violet as well as blue, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. But the first colors that we're gonna be getting into is gonna be this like very brown, grayish looking color. Uh, you get two of these runners, which is pretty much gonna be the um, the inner frames. And next is gonna be, looks like it's gonna be um, the little like weapons that it's gonna have. So, and th that's pretty much gonna be about it. More parts for the weapon. Same runner as before. Looks like even more parts for the weapon. And you get even more like little inner frame parts. And you get a polycap sheet that is gonna be in the same color as that. Next, moving on to the yellow. Uh, this is pretty much gonna be used for the hair. I don't think there's any other yellow on the kit. Uh, I think maybe the chest piece, uh, maybe that might be it. Um, but yeah, this is primarily gonna be used for the hair. Next is the flesh color tones. Uh, so pretty much you're gonna have this one, which is, looks look, look like the legs, and you're gonna have, uh, looks like parts of the arm as well as uh, a blank little face. Then you're gonna get some poly caps, and uh, looks like more poly cap joints right here and then a little part right here. Next, moving on to the white. Uh, these will look like more just that, like the outer frame parts. Looks like stuff that's gonna be for the body as well. Here is another runner that, um, this one looks like it's gonna be more for the weapons and just kinda like the extra external armor. Uh, but this is actually more of a, uh, a pearl coated uh, white. So it's not just a very, very dull, it's actually like pearl coated, which is pretty dope. 
This one is not pearl coated, but it is a very glossy white. This is another uh, very glossy white. Same runner as before. And here you have more white, which is actually very, very glossy as you can see. Um, this is gonna be pretty much all the main body parts. And then here's some extra little like uh, joint parts, probably gonna be for the hands right here. And here we are with these like Prisma kind of looking colors. Uh, so these are gonna be the main weapons on uh, this kit actually. And here's another runner. Another one for the weapons. You get four blades right here. And lastly, you get these two, two big ones and then more just like smaller uh, parts that's gonna be for the main body. You also get a bunch of hands. It's gonna be, uh, you know, pretty much, it looks like it's the same hands as before from the uh, architect. Um, but you get the pointing fingers, you get open, you get like, these little clothes, kind of just like palm ones. And then you get uh, these kind of grip ones and then closed fist. Then you get these different faces. Uh, and then these little parts right here, which I'm not sure where these two uh, go to. I think they might either be for the head or they're gonna be for uh, the body. You also get a nice little stand for it. And finally, some nice little water slide decals. Here's the manual. Uh, pretty much the front cover art is gonna be on the front of the manual. And then on the inside, I don't know what that's supposed to be, uh, but you get some nice little color pictures of poses. And then here's the original frame arms kit that uh, this thing is actually based off of. Um, this is gonna be a list of all the runners right here and right there. So there's gonna be a lot of runners in this. Uh, this is really gonna be a very, very uh, lengthy kit to, to build. Um, but overall, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. So I'm hoping that um, this kit goes fairly well. Uh, has all the transformation parts right here with transformation sequences. And then you're gonna get the color guide and uh, decals right there. And this is just more of the uh, transformation gimmick. But overall, I'm pretty stoked. So um, I'll be letting y'all know how this kit is. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying to God, I can get this done by uh, the end of this upcoming weekend because I want to get this particular review out by next week and then uh, get the first frame arms that I built. I want to get that out by this weekend. But um, that's it, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next Gundam review, which should be uh, probably tomorrow. And then I'll see y'all in some other videos. I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.